governor's office is telling us that they're looking at two things, the number of Texans testing positive for the virus and also the hospitalization rate. Both, they say, have consistently fallen and continue to drop every day again statewide. Here locally, 10 new deaths have been reported across the 19 counties that make up the greater Houston area. The virus has killed 242 people in our region. Sky 2 over Northside High School today, one of several Houston ISD campuses giving free boxes of food to families in need. Efforts like these are underway across the Houston area tonight. Channel 2's Bill Spencer is live downtown now with a closer look. Bill? Chris and Lauren, we are live at St. John's United Methodist Church downtown where the church's Bread of Life program is responding to the coronavirus crisis now by serving uh, needy families fresh healthy food every Wednesday morning. Uh, except now, it's not just traditionally low income, close to the poverty line families that are coming here. No, the charity says instead now, they are seeing families from every single economic level coming here for help in getting their food. Then now we're not talking about people who have consistently uh, been on the margins. We're talking about people who um, were doing very well. Pastors Juanita Rasmus and Rudy Rasmus are the founders of the Bread of Life food donation program at St. John's United Methodist Church downtown. Every week they are giving away 12 tons of fresh food to needy families. But with the coronavirus crisis putting tens of thousands of people out of work, now they say it seems everyone needs their help with just getting food on the table. You know, we've never seen need like this before. Uh, unlike a uh, natural disaster that hits in a uh, localized way, uh, this is a, uh, a disaster that has hit every household in this nation. And, and as a result, we are having uh, some real challenges uh, finding the resources to meet the need. 45-year-old John Marsden is an out-of-work Uber driver who hasn't seen a paycheck in six weeks now. He hasn't been able to get unemployment either. He says he and his fiance have six children and are struggling like crazy right now to get food and everything else. I'm struggling to pay rent 2100, car note, car insurance, cell phone bill, electricity, you know, and that's the things that we need to take care of, especially, a roof, especially our rent and lights. And John is one of the people who comes here to get food. He is also a volunteer who helps hand out that food. Now, let me tell you about this food donation program. So if you need it, you can take advantage of it. Again, it is the Bread of Life food giveaway program. It starts at 9 o'clock on every Wednesday morning here at St. John's United Methodist Church. This is located at 2019. Crawford Street downtown. Again, the program begins at 9 o'clock. They plan to give away 12 tons of food every single Wednesday morning. Reporting live downtown, Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 News.